modern Beat Saber without a PC or a phone is finally working again. What an absolute pain it was to record this for you. So, <laughs> to the one random innocent viewer that clicked on my video, thank you. Disclaimer, Bearsky VR will not be held responsible for any damages or unforeseen behaviors of one's Quest headset. This guide is meant to be followed to the letter step by step. You have to follow everything, don't skip around, just make sure you do every step as follows. As things may change, as Meta, Google, and modding, and the modding community all have moving parts and may make changes, thus rendering this video useless. Please let me know in the comments if you are experiencing issues, the video isn't syncing up to what you are seeing in the headset, or if you successfully modded. Don't forget to hype the video if YouTube's new hype system is active, as that would be awesome. And remember, this video can be playing while you are working on the modding process, so pause the video when you need. Number 1. You need side quests. I do have a no PC, no phone guide you can use. Link in the description, pinned comment, and the card at the top of the window. So if you need side quests, go ahead and go over to that video and get it done. I didn't include it in this video because I, ca I keep recording it and I don't need YouTube's AI to say I have the reused content baloney. So yeah, sorry I couldn't include it guys. Also you do not need developer mode for this guide. Number two. Go to quick settings on the dashboard, click on settings in the top right, click on apps, go to Beat Saber, change the channel version to 1.29 and turn on shared storage. Number three, go to SideQuest in unknown sources and download Quest App Version Switcher. Number 4. Open Quest App Version Switcher in Unknown Sources. If it does not show up, then change the App Library category from Unknown Sources to All and back to Unknown Sources. Number 5. Give Quest App Version Switcher access to all files and press the Go Back arrow. Number 6. Click Start. Number 7. Change the version to Download 1.28. Number 8, click Next. Number 9, click Downgrade. Number 10, click Yes. Number 11, allow the download to finish. I'm skipping this part as you don't need to see me recording this, so go ahead and pause the video and then let uh, the download continue. Once it's done, come on, um, pause the video and get going. Number 12, grant access. Number 13, click download and install Lightning Launcher. Number 14, click settings. Number 15, toggle the manage file toggle to on. Number 16, wait five seconds and install Lightning Launcher. Number 17, click the go back arrow. Number 18, move Quest App version switcher to the left by dragging the top of the window. Number 19, open lightning launcher from unknown sources. Again, if you don't see lightning launcher and unknown sources, change the category to all and back to unknown sources and click lightning launcher. All right, so the really stupid ridiculous part that made this video take an extra two weeks is coming up. Once you click on Android settings coming up, coming up, your video actually, your video recording goes black. So I had to figure out why my video kept going black. <laughs> so it's so damn stupid. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, I took, had this all recorded one take. I was voicing myself while I was doing it. It would have been just wham bam done. 
anyway so here we go i will be iterating the i will be iterating the handy guide and try to break it down a bit further for you guys you can scroll down using the right thumbstick move the next page by, by clicking the bottom arrow so number 20 the goal is to get the port number for the left white field and the pairing code for the right field and then the wi-fi port for the final field after clicking pair number 21 so with lightning launcher open click apps at the top right of the screen and then at number 22 click android settings number 23 click on about headset Number 24, scroll down to build number and rapidly click build number about seven to 10 times until it says you are a developer. Number 25, click the go back arrow at the top left. Number 26, click on developer options. Number 27, scroll down and toggle the disable ADB authorization timeout. Number 28, you must click the toggle for wireless debugging to turn on wireless debugging. Number 29. Now click on wireless debugging, not the toggle. Here's where the wireless port number is. So just letting you make a note of this because this is the third number that you need for the third white field after filling in the pairing code and the port fields. Just making a note here as I can't show this step because you need a lightning launcher to fill in those numbers and this is as far as I can actually go with the guide. Anyway, number 30, click on pair device with pairing code. Number 31, so the big number is for the right white field, enter it now. Number 32, and the number following the IP address and the colon is your port number for the left white field. Fill that in too, click pair. Number 33, now enter the white port number. It's beside the IP address above the above the pair with pairing code button. Don't click the pair with pairing code button, just use that Wi-Fi port. If you need a reference, you can go back to number 29 as I was referencing what that Wi-Fi port number is. Okay, moving forward. <clears throat> number 34, Quest App version switcher will check to keep the ABD connection consistent and then it'll look like this. Number 35, click start. Number 36, click continue without modding. Number 37, click start uninstall. Number 38, click continue. Number 39, close. Number 40, click get mods. Number 41, click remove error. Number 42, go to backup and select the version 1.28 downgrade. Number 43, click Restore Backup. Number 44, click Uninstall. Number 45, click Continue. Number 46, click Install App and let Beat Saber install. Hey, while that's installing, why don't you hit the Like button, maybe hit the Hype button if it exists. Why? Because you're just that awesome. All right, moving on. Number 47, click Continue. Number 48, Close. Number 49, the version here in the black should now say version 1.28. Number 48, go to mod my game. Number 51, make sure the mod loader is set to quest loader. Select that and then click patch it now. Number 52, click start uninstall. Number 53, click continue. Number 54, continue. Number 53, click OK. Number 54, continue. Number 55, install. Number 56, click install on Beat Saber. Number 57, click close on the prompt. Number 58, click grant access. Number 59, click the toggle, then the go back arrow. Number 60, click continue and close. Number 61, click on installed mods. Number 62, click on get mods. Number 63, click on download core mods. Number 64, click on the go back arrow. Number 65, allow all mods to download and install. 
they don't actually install, but you need to go through that part. Um, number 66, open Beat Saber to check if the mods are there. They shouldn't be, but you might be lucky and they actually will be. Click open app if the prompt appears. Never click restore as that will make you have to redo this entire process again. Number 67, restart your headset. Number 68, open Quest app version switcher. It may prompt you for the allow ABD. Click always allow on the network. Quest app version switcher should always give you this checking ABD option. At that point, you'll have to pair Quest app version switcher to lightning launcher again. Number 69, if Quest App version switcher crashes, um, in my opinion, I think it was crashing off for, for me when I was doing this because I'm recording at the same time and not running Lightning Launcher. So just restart the headset and try again. Number 70, go to install mods. You'll notice that all your mods are actually toggled off. So go ahead and toggle all on. It may actually take 10 minutes per mod toggle on just be aware of that you can put your headset down uh, or you could be watching watching like a hawk so you can just try to get through it just be aware this may take a little bit of time to get through <laughs> number 71 check beat saber cross your fingers and bam you just modded and and if you don't see your mods just rinse and repeat step 67 to 71 until the damn thing works just restart the headset Pair quest out version switcher to lightning launcher. Verify that. Verify that all your mods are toggled on. If not, toggle them on. And then go to Beat Saber and the mods should be there. So let me know in the comments if you get it going and or if you need any help. Bearski 